Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0.90 Beta. In this episode we're going to start off where we left off with this asteroid. I'm going to try and make a plot for its exit out of the system and I'll see when I can do that and queue up an alarm maybe if I can get a plot of some kind. Uh, there's still a chance that we could hit Joule even though we're not at the ideal location because of course Joule's sphere influence is so large. Uh, other than that we'd have to wait but then I could still plot it out and see, uh, for instance, probably the Aduna transfer will be doable around here somewhere. Uh, Duna will have advanced and yeah, that's a possibility. But other than that, I have a few other things to do. Obviously, when we take our alarm clock, um, we've got all these make course plane changes to do. I'll do those uh, as quick. I'll cut it as short as I can for you guys, but I do want to show the results of those. And then after that, I want to take a look at our resupply missions because we've got, well, the emergency app I don't care about. Mooner Station, however, uh, is going to run out of food, water, and oxygen in 85 days. It's only got one crew, and so we want to make sure that that one crew member is all right. Other than that, everything else has more than 100 days, but we might want to at least add alarms for when to resupply all these things and so I will probably do that at some point today okay so that is part of the plans as well uh, but first let me uh, try and make a plot for this asteroid okay well I've plotted for a Duna encounter for this asteroid it'll cost 482 and I don't see where it really gets us um, here you'll see the yellow dot line here coming in and it boosts us out to this green dot line. That's that's a boost, but it's not much of a boost when you consider where Joule is, and that's our final destination, well, not our final destination, but that's our uh, main destination. And a uh, few good things, uh, it is encountering it at a node, and so we don't have to do any sort of, uh, we don't have to do too much of a normal burn, uh, but, and I have a little bit of a normal burn there because I wanted to make sure that we get into the same plane as Duna but again we, we don't get a subsequent boost that could really bring us to the distance that we need and there is a tiny possibility uh, if you see here we've got uh, periapsis uh, 249 days apoapsis 346 days so our orbital period is very close to that of Duna's we'd only need a small correction in order to boost it up to an equivalent period as Duna's orbit. So what that means is that we could go around and hit Duna a second time and maybe then it'll give us a better boost. Uh, part of the problem is the angle at which we're coming in. Uh, this is not a great angle to be approaching uh, Duna. We need to be approaching more in line with its orbit and maybe after the boost we would get that. But um, and this because it's not a Holman transfer at all. But uh, it's tough to say. Uh, so I'm hesitant to make this, especially since it takes about half of our remaining delta V. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, uh, transfer directly to Joule seems like it would take 2,000. Now we could do all sorts of things like wait until we might hit Kerbin again and get a boost from Kerbin, and that would be a better boost than anything we would get from Duna. Uh, that would take uh, quite a few phases because uh, we, we've we got one end touching the orbit of Kerbin and then we've got the other end further out and so we'd have to wait for Kerbin to catch up to us again. Yep, uh, so there are a few possibilities. Let me just add this alarm just in case I want to think about it at that time. It'll be before any sort of uh, Kerbin possibility would come up. Uh, so this is... Uh, possible transfer to Duna in 111 days. So that's like right at the end of our list. Uh, even a Kerbin Duna transfer comes before that. Uh, I wonder uh, from this place's... well unfortunately when we talk about transfer window uh, it, it doesn't like that. So we can't do a transfer window from this position, this orbit to Duna. It doesn't know how to calculate that. All right, so yeah, we'll leave this for now and go on with our other business. And our first order of business is the massive Joule Oasis, still coming in at 126 tons here. 
and we're going to have it turn to its maneuver node which is in two days and seven hours before everything else and it looks like we're trying to burn 245.4 meters per second using the KR2L so at least it'll be a quick burn okay here we go with the alarm one minute before the node and so this will be a good reminder of what we've got going this episode since we're going to go through these and of course we've got other things going like this this Eve lander and Eve science drone that should be interesting and the Gilly water fountain don't forget and the dress thing and other things but uh, yeah we'll at least uh, have our jewel sortie highlighted this time we're encountering some moons there but we want to make a powered capture around Jewel I think so it'll be best to get close to Jewel for that we can't afford to air break not with something this big this isn't the best pass I could have foreseen okay so this will take 56 and let's say we wanted to get into a capture probably that's too high but let's just see how much that is that one's 185 so yeah we'll burn out this stage and we'll still have plenty of Delta V using the nukes to get the capture and then we'll see where to put it from there um, it doesn't seem like I mean it's possible we could have had a Tylo encounter and had Tylo do the work for us but uh, this seems like a reasonable choice I think to get the Tylo encounter we probably have to burn more than this combined maybe okay so yes I'm going to add the alarm for the first node if possible uh, yeah maneuver node alarm right and yeah that's the right timing so it'll be past everything else before we get to this as expected so with that we will leave this mission make sure 272 days it definitely has food water and oxygen for that uh, we'll have to let's get the we need to get some converter units active because otherwise we are going to run out of oxygen what's this one that's the waste that's food oh the converter units are here uh, activate carbon extractor uh, we should have the water purifier active that's why we put all the solar panels on right we don't need the water splitter not yet not unless we're really strapped for oxygen so that's okay alright so we will have supplies alright next the bop probe okay and here is our ambitious little bop probe of course we note the parachute which means this is supposed to return back to Kerbin and of course the heat shield there so yep we have to treat this kindly and it's got the refueling possibility and so the CRT on the on the Jewel Oasis could potentially refuel this if it really needs more fuel but for now we're just concerned about getting it to a decent orbit around Jewel and so that'll be in eight hours again it's a strict inclination change uh, no it's not letting me make any maneuver node here so anyway um, I've got our business to take care of let's go to the Paul water fountain after we add the alarm for that maneuver node so here it is and its node is only in eight minutes seems a little bit tight on the Delta V yeah gotta be careful with this one okay let's see what's really going on here Oh, crash course. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, Leif encounter. Uh, this is not supposed to go to Leif, though. Maybe Leif can help. Right now, it's actually not helping very much. But 
Uh, oh, that's bringing us in. Uh, we'll correct that on the way in. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not letting me make a maneuver right now, so I'll just uh, create an SOI change alarm for this one. Well, this is pretty straightforward. Gotta keep enough Delta V so this can rendezvous with whatever might need supply. Probably it's gonna be the Jewel Oasis, but, uh, you know, who knows. Let us point proper, and then time warp the hour and 20 minutes. Okay, the sound isn't great here. Uh, we seem to get some flickering on this orbit. Let's keep it slow. Uh, okay, well, it makes it a little bit difficult to see what's going to happen, but we get the gist of the thing. Also seems a bit far out. Now, I know that this is... Uh, well, it could be put into pretty much any orbit. How much would it take to get into it? Now we saw previously... Oh, it's still not allowing me to make a maneuver node. That's not very convenient. Um, we really need to adjust this right now. We've got a lathe encounter there. In theory, lathe could help us get into orbit as well. We'd want to get on the other side of lathe. There we go. Uh, inclination's bad. Doesn't help that it occasionally decides not to show me what's happening. Okay, that'll work better. Alright, there we go. Leif Periapsis, 1000 kilometers. Jewel Apoapsis touches Paul's orbit. Jewel Periapsis is inside lace orbit. It's got a little bit of a tilt here. Okay, but it's really touchy about the whole thing. Let's just leave it be. Okay, we could potentially correct that even at this apoapsis here, depending on where we want to go. But that's a pretty darn good approach, and it's only a 14.6 meter per second correction. So let me just add that quickly and do it. And we probably won't get this as perfectly as it seems here because we're talking about hundredths of a meter per second, but we can make a correction once we get into the system. The important thing is just to get the lathe encounter really. There's a lathe encounter, but on the wrong side. Okay, that's that's pretty good. It's a little bit indecisive. But that's basically what I want. Okay, so I'm going to add a maneuver once we get into the system, if it'll let me. It's not sure that, that's orbit, that that orbit is a thing, so that's a little bit tricky. Oh, I got it just now. Okay, add a maneuver. Okay, I'm just going to make it a null maneuver and I'm going to add that as an alarm. And the reason I want to do a null maneuver instead of going with the SOI change is because there's a chance that it won't let me make a maneuver again once I get in there and so I'd rather have a maneuver ready to go. So okay, that is all set and actually probably the most set of all the ones that we've done so far. And now let's jump to the Paul probe. Ball probe is just like the bop probe except it's still got its transfer stage hooked up because it's got 35 meters per second. I don't know where that 35 meters per second is. Oh, uh, this has a little tank in it. The engine itself has a tank. Right. Okay. Okay. Delete on close and here we go. Let's expend this stage. And proceed. And I hate when I press spacebar and it doesn't do anything. Uh oh, I hate that more. What? Ah, oh, come on. Uh, 
Why is it stuck? That's a decoupler, all right. Well, that's a problem. It's definitely not getting us any closer to Jewel. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, I think I've got glitches. Let me restart. Yeah, I think I should restart. Uh, this might explode once we come back. Okay, returning to our Paul probe after I restarted, and let's see what happens. Okay, I just heard a decoupling sound. Cross your fingers. Uh, hmm. Okay, okay, we're good to go. Sort of. Is that node really our node? I thought we were on an inclination change. Hmm. I don't, I'm not sure I trust that, but... Let's see what's going on. Well, that's a relief. This could easily have been an explosion of some kind. No, no, this doesn't seem to be doing what I wanted to do. I think I should just point at the at the marker there. Yep, just go straight up, please. Don't go off to the side there. Maybe even a little bit in make sure our inclination is all right first that looks pretty in line oh the uh, quad pro pack we have to get to uh, hold on let's just close that alarm I'll get to it yeah let's just bring it in because it'll be if we check out let's see if it can we make a maneuver node or not? No. But I think it's easier to get into a powered orbit if we are very close to Jewel. Or we could try that lathe thing again, but that's not... Hmm, that was an interesting thing. I was about to say, let's not trust lathe with too much stuff. But it seems to have this one in orbit like that. Ooh. Or a tight orbit. No, uh, that's too tight. <laughs> or just turning around changes everything. Hmm. Okay, I think uh, we'll have to just... Uh, whoa, and there's a Tylo encounter. Yeah, just turning around changes everything, so let's not trust any of that. I can't seem to create a maneuver node there so I'm just going to add the SOI change alarm okay and that is in 249 days so bot probe Paul probe coming in about the same time let's go to the quad probe pack okay well we're already past this alarm let me get rid of it point to node and just start burning Alright, that's relatively flat. Well, no, it's still got a curve to it, but probably we can't do too much more. That's about what we planned, so I'll leave it there. Ah, here we can make a node, so uh, let's see how much that gives us. So uh, here it's saying, though, with, uh, with us spinning around, let's not let that happen, uh, 277 meters per second. And again, if we get closer, uh, yeah, if we get closer into Joule, it's probably going to be better. So I will try and plot for that out here. Hmm. Well, it lets me plot a point in here. I'll try and slide that over to that end. Hmm. It doesn't really want to go. Oh. I can deal with it somewhere here. No. Oh heck, I'll just add the SOI change. Okay, so that one is before everything else, this quad probe pack. 
four probes, so they're, they'll each make their individual way to whatever moon they are des destined for. And that being done, we've just got one thing left as far as mid course adjustments, and that is the Explorer X. Now, the Explorer X is sort of a bundle of glitches. And I forget who it was who uh, suggested that we should probably uh, try and scrap it. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, so we would be able to recover the parts somehow, I think. And so, yeah, turning it into spare parts once we get to Kerbin sounds like a good idea. But I'll have to look into how to do that. For now, we are going to make this adjustment. Wait, 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 wait. This is meant for Kerbin. What what kind of orbit are we on? I don't understand. We've got... We were supposed to be headed back for Kerbin with this. From Eve, right? Right? I'm not mistaken about this. I thought we had that pretty well settled. Why does it seem to be going out to Jewel? Hold on. Let me finish making this burn. We have enough to correct this. I'm pretty sure I had this going back to Kerbin. Okay, I don't understand how this has happened. I don't even understand what this is trying to do. I'm gonna exit... No, oh, there's not, nothing to create an alarm for. I'm gonna... Let me go back to the tracking station. I don't get this. I'm gonna have to review previous video to figure out what's going on with this. What kind of food, water, and oxygen do we have for these guys? They got 519 days. Well, that could be worse. Um... How does it have this sort of orbit in the first place? It was it was around Eve. Somebody please help me out here uh, in the comments or something. Did you notice the Explorer X on an orbit it wasn't supposed to be on? Uh, doing something crazy because I oh whatever. Maybe maybe I'm just out of my mind and I forgot what I was trying to do with this. But this burn certainly didn't get us to Jewel either. Let me let me go back to the tracking station. Well, there's no question it thinks the Explorer X is on this orbit. And I don't like that because... That's not what I wanted. And it's not going to hit Jewel in any good time either. When you look at it, these are hitting in 262 days, 272 over here. That means you will be over here at that time. Uh, it might be able to hit over here if it's going really fast, but here it's at 312 days already. So I don't know where it's going. Was that an Eve to Jewel transfer that I did? But then how is the periapsis here? Did it totally go right past... get slingshot by Kerbin somehow to this orbit? Well, it's on its way to Jewel now. I guess... I don't know. Yeah, please tell me what you can in the comments, but let me try and get it to Jewel at least. And then we'll have to work on how to save it from there. This is not a good orbit for that though. And clearly Jewel had not been targeted. That's sort of important. Because normally if I was going to transfer something, it would already have been targeted. 
and it's also not in phase at all it's not it doesn't have any sort of transfer going for it so the only idea I've got is that somehow this got kicked out by Kerbin while I wasn't looking much more likely is that some glitch has occurred but we need to sort of force the issue when it comes to reaching Jewel now or we could try and bring the orbit in and try and get back to Kerbin we're over here right now Let's set Kerbin as a target. I'll take a lot of our Delta V right there, and we didn't then need to slow down too. Hmm. Well, we could get an encounter there, but uh, that's uh, long beyond their supplies will last. Well, sir, suddenly this has turned into a rescue mission. I didn't realize this was going to happen. Well, that'll cut things down a bit. Can we get it there? Okay. So this will be in 176 days, an encounter with Kerbin. Okay, and that node is in three days. All right. I'm gonna add that node here. Now the next thing we have to do is there's this other class D asteroid that we could use to fulfill the ejected out of the solar system contract and but I'm not too sure I want to deal with that when we already have one asteroid wrangled. I, uh, our budget isn't really that high anymore. Uh, it's not showing us it. Let's go back to the Space Center. I need to gather my thoughts. Right, so we have three million funds right now and let me just remind myself where we are as far as upgrading stuff I don't think okay that's not clickable right now okay space plane hangar is fully operational mission control is fully operational other stuff I'm having trouble clicking on Okay, oh, there's the launch pad. It's just a window is popping up in a place I don't know. Okay, I, I get the feeling that this install is getting glitchier and glitchier by the moment, but yeah. Well, we'll try. Why do we. Okay, right. Uh, we will try bringing the Explorer X back. And as far as this asteroid is concerned, I. It'll be a very expensive launch to try and pro probably multiple launches to send space tugs to it. So I'll just wait for how long is that contract? Okay, we've got seven years to fill this contract. Uh, class D asteroid that passed uh, Kerbin nearly wiped out our species. Capture one and get rid of it. Okay, so that is why they wanted that ejected out. Okay. So, yeah, that's a good reason. So I feel like I shouldn't be in a rush to grab that asteroid. We, we have seven years to fulfill that contract, and I want to see what we can do with the asteroid we've already got. Uh, let me take care of the attack life support stuff. Oh, I can't do it from here because it doesn't show what uh, life support consumption is. So let me go to a vessel and then switch from there. Well, I've picked the Explorer X, but I... Sure, don't want to deal with it right now. Um, what we really need is Mooner Station 1. Alright, now add alarm. And it's going to be a raw time alarm. And I want it in. Let's let's give my. I want 10 days worth of buffer. So let's say we're going to focus on that in 72 days. And that should be alright. Okay. 
All right, Mooner Station, one alarm is set. What's the next thing that's going to need more supplies? We've got Kerbin Station Core 176, Gold Bug 180. Gold Bug just needs Carbonite Mining Station. Well, that's right around here. Now we need to cover everything up to 272 days because otherwise we're gonna try and hit one of these alarms and accidentally miss something. Okay, and so I'll add this alarm 160 days. Again, I'm uh, deciding not to do them all right now because it'll break up the activities that we're going to be doing around Jewel and stuff like that, or, you know, all this stuff. So it'll give us some launches to do, basically. And then I got uh, probably the gold bug. We want to get that Kerbal out and to our base. Or maybe I should send the CRT down to pick him up. Okay, so here we are in the Kerman Station core, Milner Kerman waiting patiently for stuff to do. We got some large docking ports here available. But uh, yep, this will need some resupply and I'll be in 166 days. Alright, so let me take a peek at the gold bug. Oh, wait, um, our Kerbatat has 252 days. That's still pretty weak actually yeah I'm moving the the Kerbal from the gold bug to the Kerbatat's not gonna do much good we'll have to resupply the Kerbatat too shall we pop on over to the Kerbatat and see what's going there and see if anything's glitched out okay so here we are the base complex in all of its glory and indeed it does look intact the gold bug is right there uh, so we'll have to resupply this and I'm going to add an alarm for that um, we'll resupply it when the gold bug needs the supplies so that's 180 days and so I'm gonna put a 170 day alarm here and does that coincide that might uh oh no that gives us some room between this and Kerbin station core okay add that alarm all right so that'll be the plan we'll resupply this when the gold bug needs supplies now given that is there anything else we need to take care of before 272 days looks like duna station okay uh well we've got the the transfer to Duna here in 73 days so that should be the time when we send the supplies over and those should arrive in time for that because the transfer to Duna is about 75 days so it'll be 150 days until they get those okay so that takes care of that anything else Minma station is all right. Okay, so the main thing on my mind right now is what on earth happened with the Explorer X, and so I need to review video and see where I went wrong and what I might be doing. I don't want to handle this trans this change right now until I really sort things out, and maybe you guys in the comments can help me out with that. So, but we have that plan. That'll be the next thing we take care of. Really, in this episode, I wanted to take care of all this. Eve and Gilly stuff and Dres, these are all uh, what you got uh, SOI changes and so we could have at least brought these missions into Eve but uh, yeah I, I don't I don't want to do that until I figure out what was up with the Explorer X so this might be a little bit of a short episode but we certainly have an interesting event in it and I will uh, come back to you with my answer about that and whether we just bring it on this transfer in the next episode. Alright, so let's plan. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.